red daddy and let's see what we put there oh so i had something different but then you're talking where i was asking you how you found wise and nerdy and i kind of remember you came from pokemon go so here's the story i'd like to hear from you john you oh. i love one i'd like to know how you found pokemon go and, and yeah and, you know how you go hooked in there but i i've not actually heard from anybody on the outside watching our transition of how as a participant and a listener how you view the transition from pokemon go to wise and nerdy so um, we were it was kind of in the you know COVID air and uh, i had started playing pokemon go with my kids again i had started in 2016 uh played a little while i stopped they were wanting to play a little older so we play and we'd go out and do things and i had spotify and i just looked up pokemon you know and ta-da you guys popped up and uh well yeah, you know the name says it i popped yep. on and i kind of liked yours and joe's uh banter and it was kind of fun um and my kids had actually played pokemon the card game um and so i was pretty familiar with that i'd gotten I, I've got a whole binder over here. Uh, of, <laughs> nice. It's kind of a, you know, there's a lot of adults that have some pretty sweet swag when it comes to Pokemon mm -hmm. uh, card stuff, by the way. Anyway, um, just sort of listening to you guys. And then, I don't know, I think it was the Ode to Venipede um, popped in my head. <laughs> and I uh, I submitted that randomly. Yeah. And yeah. I'm... Oh, I remember you guys. What the heck? And <laughs> I think that was pretty much it right there. I'm like, well, that was fun. And uh, you, uh, and I don't know, I've done the, what was it? The Pokemon um, navigation, uh, you know, just submitting stuff. I just, right. you know, I was in television. I did, I'm, a, you know, I love the audio file stuff. I've always enjoyed all that. And it's just sort of a creative outlet. I'll be driving along, the stuff will pop my head, and I'll just kind of like, hey, da da da. da. You then, did one from your car, if I remember right. We were like, oh, that was a flock of keys that just flew across the road or something. Like, yeah, yeah I don't know. Right, right of the, it's so great. I would do some really, yeah, uh, speak pipes, yeah. just whatever. It's it's a lot of fun just interacting with you guys. Um, I, I kind of enjoy that. Um, you know, it gives you guys something. Kind of gives me something, a little feedback. Hopefully, it gives the le listeners something to, fun to lean on. Cheeky Nashville, man. Oh, Holy Cheeky was hilarious. Cow. I miss him. Oh, my right? God. He's the best speak pipes of all time. For a <laughs> year, we got this character of I'm Cheeky Nashville. I can't even do his voice. Oh, I know. And Cheeky then Nashville. we revealed that he's English. Is he? Yeah, and we had one last one, fantastic. We had like a celebration show, it may have been 300 or whatever. It was, it was uh -huh. so special. Show I remember, call in. and yeah, and he kind of made it his last kid stop playing the game for a little while. And he's like, Cheeky Nash, and he just kind of stopped talking in that and started talking in his real voice, like, What you're not even American? <laughs> Holy cow, man, he was hilarious. He did a song for you, too. I remember that, yeah, he did a Pokemon funny. rap. Oh my or, gosh! Yeah. You did uh, with the Whalmer, yeah, the Whalmer, yeah. yeah. Once there's a lot, his name was Joe. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. That was great. So I did that for your anniversary too, because I was like, and the and it was crazy. I was like, yeah, that was so oh. 300. Yeah, and I just yeah. like did it all that through there, and my microphone. I can't remember what I couldn't find it or something, and so I did it on like the microphone I didn't like and stuff, and I was calling my son, hey Josh, I, I need you to sing extra chorus and do overlays and blah blah blah, you know, and I'm like throwing this together, it came out okay. <laughs> oh, no, okay, it came out great. It came out pretty fantastic. It was awesome, um, and I know Joe's like play the song. I don't have it on my board anymore. It's, it's in a file somewhere. I have to find it, Joe. So when you come back next week, you can play it. Actually, it won't be next week. We'll be at Dragon. But no, okay, we'll talk about it. We, we do a show next week. Um, so a lot of our, I would say, I mean, being transparent, we were probably up to about 1,200, 1,500 downloads an episode with Pokemon Go. And you muted yourself, Devo, by the way. 
Uh, and we knew that transitioning to what we're doing now, there were some people who were there because of how we treated the property and they loved the property and they enjoyed us, but they were really, this is the property. Um, we didn't lose nearly as many of the audience that we thought we would, but in that transition where we're like, yeah, this is why we're leaving Pokemon. This is why we're going to this from your standpoint as a, a audience member, as a fan of, of that show, interactor with that show, what was your perception of that transition in that ride? Um, I thought that the transition was good. Um, I, you know, I remember you doing that pilot episode and listening to it and I understood, I really did get it because you can, you can kind of outgrow and I'm, I'm going to say beat it to death, but Pokemon go, it has, it had its place in time. I think it just, um, and how much can you talk about it? These events and so forth. I mean, one thing if you're like going out and doing on site and yeah. you know, I mean, you could really get into it, but I felt like, yeah, you had probably plateaued and I could, I could kind of feel it a little bit. Uh, and I think probably listeners could, it was kind of, you know, always interesting. Yeah. I mean, Joe had great trivia. He was always bringing up lots of information, you know, events coming on. Uh, I have no idea how those guys got all those shinies. Holy cannoli. I, I know, mean, right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, they, anyway, but <laughs> I digress. Uh, no, I thought it was good. And it was kind of interesting to see the transition of you guys. And uh, I really do. I think it's I think it's turned out pretty well. I, I, for my own purposes, I think it has turned out uh, very well because, yeah. and, and to also be transparent, we lost a, a decent amount of money trans transferring mm -hmm. over and only say that to say we didn't do that show only for money. It was very much a commercial sh commercial oh, yeah. show. We, we, we built it that way. We, we never shied away from it, but feeling that drag is like, it, it, it got to the point where, okay, we knew I, I barely played the game. That was part of the shtick, and it, right. it worked. We we always put on a good show. Still uh, have that open gifts from you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be a thing for a while. Um, but when they were coming out with like news that was like, this seems very yeah. anti-community, and then the show gets so serious. In a moment, we're like, this is just not what we want. It's not what we started yeah. out to do. We started out to have fun and be a commercial show. But if we have to pick one, we're going to pick and join what we do. And and I love that you came along with this one. I love random kid in the chat. Did you catch us as wise and nerdy or did you catch us? Oh, that's a great before? question. Um, yeah, because it's kind of a new name to me. And during the unless he changed his nickname, but doesn't sound like it since. Yeah, I think he came on here on YouTube when we first started. Finally started. That's great. Putting it on YouTube. Uh, but you know, they'll tell us in a minute, but, uh, I, you have to do what you love and, mm -hmm. and I can just tell you from a production standpoint, and hopefully it shines through in what we do is that Joe and I have lo loved every step of the way with the show, refining it, you know, building it differently, changing things up, tweaking things up, bringing Kurt in sometimes, you know, he's supposed to be a full partner, but you know, he shows up when he wants to, what can I say? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, well, yeah. uh, if I can give a plug, I mean, okay, so, plug. I mean, I, I you know, I, I'm a, I'm a Patreon and I, and I donate because hobbies are, they cost money and microphones cost money and, you know, the, and to make a quality program, um, it's nice to have that additional kind of, you know, go towards the, the, the craft, if you will. Uh, you know, I, I've never, well me personally have not met a whole lot of people that do these uh type of things it's not a money maker it's definitely a it's it's for love of it but it's kind of nice to have that feedback and you know i mean god joe needs a, a new <laughs> camera oh my gosh I know, right? the c3 oh I know. my gosh I was like i had one of those years ago I'm, I'm about ready to send him one of my spare uh c920s because i'm so sad for him <laughs> Hey, you're not wrong. Phil you know, gives him just, nothing but grief every single time I've heard him on. It, it's I love funny. it. I love it. Um, and, and you're right. I do a lot of what I do, uh, what I love, and I want to do it for my life. And not everybody wants to do that. Uh, but it, it's 
we love the patrons and we love the audience members and you know i love the speak pipes when people want to call in and just tell me their thoughts because it is about the interactivity and this uh even random kids like he really does need a new camera <laughs> you know what christmas is coming up and uh, here's the other thing we were smart with our money we never just went out and got yeah. stuff we always built up stuff so that we could go let's invest in this for the show or or we went to chicago uh well one, we had a lot of help you know barry folk was amazing and and took care of us uh to a certain extent but anything that he didn't take care of the show took care of so once we knew we were going to transition, we just put a cease on spending. And so we've kept money back. So I think we could buy him a, the show can buy him a new camera for Christmas. And we'll knock that out for him. Um, Cause everybody, everybody's like, we, we really need it. But you know what? Every time he tells a bad dad joke, I'm like, mm, you can wait another week on that camera, sir. Cause you're, you're killing me with that. Um, but I'm glad to hear that, that perspective. Yeah. Um, and if you won't mind, I didn't think about you being a patron. I didn't think about all that. So thank you for the plug. Will you share though what you get out of it being a patron? Oh well, uh, one of the key things, and I and I listen to this show um, while I'm driving to work, uh, driving home from work, it gives me a, a it, you know breaks up the day, you know, because sometimes you get really deep in this stuff. You know, uh, Charles, you talked about it. You know, driving and going, hey, you calling your buddy up and saying. Uh -huh. Do a podcast for me. Entertain me. Yeah. Well, this is kind of entertain me. And what's special about it is that there is time before the podcast when you and Joe, um, you know, are bantering on. We get to hear when Joe is late or, or you know, cursed. Hard time. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. hard time. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Uh, you know, Phil comes on. You know, whoever your guest. I have to and edit those three shows pretty heavily when Phil comes on. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, Patreon edition, you can kind of a little bit more uh, open on that, and I don't mind that myself. But yeah. yeah, it's really kind of fun, and then I get to also leave special notes in the chat. Yes. For Charles and uh, whoever or whatever, or just make whatever comments in there. It's kind of fun to do. That's kind of outside. It's not in the Discord, so I don't have to behave myself necessarily, though I typically do, but maybe not. <laughs> You'll never know unless you're a Patreon. I, I, so I, so I recommend it. being. It's it's good. And I like actually listening. You know, I listened to this show for the longest time on Spotify. I really like it better. I really like uh, the app and listening to it much better because you can change the speed you can yeah forward backwards it's all really nice so what's I that you use? what's that this is the patreon what? app i didn't i forgot they had their own yeah app. Okay. I, I started on the web uh the, you know just doing the web version of it and i didn't like it as much and like oh they have an app man that was perfect i like it i love it 